Hello patrons. I get asked the question all the time. How do you put on the Valiverse action figure, the vest, the body armor vest onto the figures? So I thought I'd put together this, this tutorial video. Now, although this isn't on the main Analog Toys channel and I'm sharing it here with the patrons, I'm making this video public. The reason I'm not putting it on Analog Toys is I don't think the video is gonna get a massive number of views and I don't want it to kind of mess around with the channel analytics. So um, because I'm making this public on the kind of Patreon channel, feel free to share this wherever you want, but uh, I mainly was making it for you guys here on Patreon if you want a, a good technique for getting on your Valiverse body armor vest. So here I've got two Sergeant Slaughter figures. One is the standard issue figure as it comes out of the box. And this other one here, I wanna customize him with a vest. Now, you can use heat guns, hair dryers, that kind of thing. I prefer um, a sink filled with hot water. That's my preferred method. It, it warms the whole figure up. You can, use, you can manipulate multiple joints and change things around at, at the same time. So what I like to do, I've got some warm water in here. The water in this house isn't too hot, so I'm gonna boil the kettle, add a little bit in. You don't want boiling water. I'm, I've already got some water in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more. What I'm going to do with this Sergeant Slaughter figure is put him in a, a different kit up with a Valiverse vest. I'm also going to change the hands. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I've got all the equipment and body parts laid out here. So um, I want him to have a backpack. Uh, here is the vest that we're going to put onto the figure. Um, what else do I want? We're going to give him a rifle that's a kind of color match for the vest. The rifle needs a magazine. We need a knife for the back of the vest and the equipment on his legs, we're gonna use his standard issue Bowie knife and revolver. Okay, I'm, oh, and I need some hands, I need some hands. I want um, the kind of combat grip cup hand for the left hand and I want a pistol grip right hand. There we go. Pistol grip right hand. Okay, I've got all the, the bits I needed. The kettle has just boiled. So I'm just gonna top this water up a little bit. Not too much, that's plenty. As I said, you, don't, you really don't want boiling water. You want nice, warm water for this. Um, don't need his hat. I'm gonna just take him off the figure stand and drop him in the water. Um, leave him in there for a few minutes um, to heat up the whole body because I found the best way to get these vests on is to actually um, split the figure at the waist and remove the lower part of the torso. And before we do that, you wanna make sure you've got something like a pair of tweezers like I've got here. Because what we wanna do, in, in fact, I'm gonna put the vest in the water as well. What we're gonna do, once we get it into position, we are gonna poke this through the hole, widen the hole temporarily, push the plug in as we pull this out and then you're, you're good to go. So make sure you've got, it doesn't have to be tweezers, just something round that doesn't have a sharp edge that is a bit wider than the existing hole so you can stretch it open a little bit. All right, I'm gonna chuck the vest in there as well. And now, Sarge is nice and loosened up, so pull him apart at the waist there. Another good tip when you're kind of doing this type of thing because you want to reassemble the figure as well is once you've got a joint separated, put the part back in the water. It, it can be a little bit difficult to actually grip onto this lower part of the torso. There we go. Just use a small towel there to give me a bit of extra grip. Okay, so you want the head removed from the figure and you want the lower part of the torso removed. Now we're gonna take the vest, slide it over the arm and the neck, get it into position. Now, you can see here we've got the two holes and the two plugs. I always do the top one first. It's easier to get the top one first in and then do the lower one. So while this is nice and warm, I put the tweezers in and then as you can see, 
I push them through so it widens the hole a little bit, leave it there for a second or two, and then before it shrinks back down, bang, we got it in. You may need to apply a little bit of pressure on the underside, that's all good. This, this second one is really easy to get in. Stretch it a little bit for a few seconds, pull it out, put the plug in, and then just let it shrink back down. And there we have the vest attached. While this figure is still warm, I'm gonna very quickly remove the fists and put in the hands that I want. Pistol grip hand for the right hand. Now, I've dropped the lower torso back into the warm water, so I'm getting ready to, to put it back on again. I want that nice and warm. These do have a front and a back. It's not easy to tell probably on the camera here, but there is a front and a back to these. I've got the front facing forward and then just that pops on. And the legs pop on. Put Sarge's head back on. I have so much fun customizing these figures. <laughs> Put his pistol on the right leg. Bowie knife on the left leg. Knife in the back, backpack on, Let's get him onto his figure stand. I'm gonna put his rifle in his hand. Magazine in the rifle. I don't know how many of you know this. These magazines actually have a top and bottom. You'll see the grooves in them, one end it goes all the way to the top and at the bottom, it, it stops about a millimeter away from the bottom um, and, it, and the groove kind of rounds off. The top of the magazine is where the groove runs all the way to the top and that's the way you wanna insert it into the magazine housing. I'll give him a bit of a pose here. And there we have a combat ready Sergeant Slaughter figure. And that's how I get the vests onto my Valiverse Action Force figures. I hope you found this video useful. And as I said, feel free to share it in Facebook toy groups or wherever you want. I'm not asking you to promote the video, but if you think people would find this technique useful, by all means, you, uh, you're welcome to share the video. All right, take care patrons, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.